So y'all understand, y'all Israelites now. We're uh, y'all say y'all go to Lane. Y'all ain't in no college fraternities or nothing like that, is? Huh? You in the college fraternity? Ah, uh, okay. So uh, what he's showing you is the law. So you now you know you're an Israelite. God requires something of y'all, man. All right, give me First Kings uh two, two right quick. All right. God requires something of the black man. That's why you see us out here. It might look just look like four of us, but believe me, it's a whole lot of us. And we out at the same time throughout the whole throughout the earth right now. Alright? We got some brothers in Memphis, brothers in Nashville right now. They out doing the same thing we doing and that's trying to wake up our young youth and show y'all, give y'all an identity. Before y'all met us today, y'all didn't have no identity. Y'all didn't know who you were. You know what I'm saying? You didn't know where you where you come from. That's why we don't understand where we're going because we don't have no identification of, of self first. So now y'all know y'all the Israelites, okay? Meaning that y'all descend from the 12 tribes of Israel. Not saying that you come from the land of Israel. That it, not, not saying that you are Israeli, like the white man, all right? The, the Arab people, they talking about they Israelis, okay? You know what I'm talking about? The Palestinians and all them people over there that's fighting over their land. Not them, all right? You are the Israelites, meaning that you descend from God's chosen people. It goes all the way back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Listen to this. The book of 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 2. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore. So the Bible is telling the black man to be strong, therefore. And show thyself a man. So it's time for us to show ourselves as men. Cut off all this effeminate music. You know what the white man trying to do to the black man? He wants you gay, he wants you effeminized, and he, he wants you dead, and he wants you in jail. All right? That's four things the white man want to see you young black men. He want to see you dead, number one. He want to see you effeminate or just gay as hell, or he want to see you over there in jail. That's why you look at TV, everything about something gay. You turn on TV now, you see two men kissing one another. Or they want you with a white woman. That's what they want, bro. God is against that. The Bible says you got to be there strong, therefore, and do what? And show thyself a man. It's time for you to show yourself as a man. All right? How do you show yourself as a man? Give me uh, Ecclesiastes 7, uh, no, uh, 12 and 13. This is the greatest knowledge on earth, man. What was y'all here to T.I. White? Huh? Yeah, y'all finna go in there to chill out, play ball or something? Huh? Uh, okay, check this out. See, God stopped you and gave you some real knowledge, man. Y'all might not get it right now, but y'all y'all got to start to search for knowledge. All right, got to cut all that rap music off, man. You know what the rap music telling you to do, don't it? Huh? What they saying in the rap music? Nigga, I'm gonna kill you, but better, better, woo. What did he just say? Nigga, I'm gonna kill you, woo. Or I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something to you. I'm gonna take sell you. drugs, I'm gonna take you, get high, I'm going to take your girlfriend and do this and do that, rape and rob. All this rap music is doing is speaking evil to our community. That's why our young men and women are evil in 2017. That's right. Because there is, I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Hold on, read that. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So this is the conclusion of the whole matter. Understand that. This is what you was put on earth for, black man. Understand what you was put on earth for. Fear God. You got to fear God now. That you know that you're an Israelite. That means you got to be scared now. Because you once didn't know this. But now you know you need to be scared. Meaning you need to eat the right food. You need to try to get fringes on your clothes. You need to try to, uh, don't shave your beard no more. You got to fear God, read and keep his commandments see that's what the whole bible say over and over keep the commandments keep the commandments so don't ever go into the christian church and t let them tell you that we are cleansed through the blood of jesus and we ain't got to do nothing the bible say do no more but call on his name that's not nowhere in the bible that's right okay so y'all don't don't let them trick you when you leave from here and be like we met we know we israelite see you gonna talk to grandma and they're gonna lord baby it don't matter what you is it don't matter, but why are we reading in the Bible? Everything in this Bible matters. That's right. You see what I'm saying? This is some knowledge, man. Y'all from Memphis, right? Well, you from Memphis too, bro? Y'all freshmen in college. Okay. All praises, man. Y'all keep getting the education. God is looking for young men to bring this truth up there to their college, man. 
Y'all got to wake these men up, man. Every year, y'all freshmen. See, we from down here. Every year, somebody get shot. Somebody go to jail. Somebody, something go on up there on that college campus. Y'all know a lot of AIDS going on up there, don't it? A lot of HIV. A lot of chlamydia. You ever been burnt before, bro? By a girl? Well, you go up there on that college campus and messing around with the wrong girl, man, you gonna be on fire. You gonna be on fire, bro. All right, give me uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. So it's time for us to be men and come back and take the communities back, man. All right. So y'all understand this, man. I'm glad y'all stopped, bro. You know what I'm saying? Well, a lot of black men won't even stop. Listen. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. The Bible say don't what? Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. The Bible said that evil communication, you know what evil communication is? Rap music. It's communicating evil to our people. Okay? He said it's going to corrupt your good manners. Okay? Because you can go to school, your mom and them, your dad and them, they don't, hey, they in, enjoying you in the school right now. They somewhere telling that, yeah, my baby going to Lane College down there in Jackson. But guess what? If you keep listening to evil communication, it's going to corrupt them good manners that your parents showed you. And you're going to end up smoking weed on campus. You're going to end up getting with a girl. You might get her pregnant before you marry her. It's going to corrupt everything that they taught you. Read that again. It's in the Bible. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communication. They said, don't be deceived, man. Yo got it, young dog, black youngster. Uh, who else they listen to? Who else y'all listen to? Who? Money bag, yo. Money bag, yo. All right. It said, don't be tricked, bro. Listen. Evil communication. Because evil, they communicating evil to you. They telling you to sell drugs when they not selling drugs. That's right. All right. They telling you to shoot somebody when they're not shooting at nobody. They telling you to snort powder when they not snorting powder. Bring it out. Well, some of them, yeah. Jesus said, Jesus said sell dope, but he sent his son to college. He said what? Yeah, Jesus said sell dope, but he sent his son to college. All right, listen. Evil communications corrupt good manners. It's going to corrupt good manners. So everything your parents done showed you, man. All right, if you keep listening to that rap music, it's going to corrupt your mind. Okay, and you got you're not gonna you're not gonna do nothing. You don't went to college for nothing, all right? Cause that's real. Y'all don't smoke, do you? Be honest. You smoke? All right. What you smoke? Weed. Watch this right here. Give me a uh, Psalm chapter 104 and 14. You know you can't smoke weed, all right? Why? I'm gonna show it to you first. Give me First Corinthians chapter three and verse 15. That's against the laws of God, bro. I used to smoke weed, but when I came into this truth, I quit. Because I thought I was straight when I wasn't straight. I thought I was cool when I wasn't cool. I thought, man, look, smoking weed, you think you cool? You think you on point? But you really not on point. You walking around, you got papers, you got cigars on you. You smelling like weed, and you got a bag of weed in your pocket. You not on point, police pull down on you going to jail. There go your college career. You see what I'm saying? You're not on point, but when you smoke it, you hear it, you think you're on point. Listen. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16. Uh -huh. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. It said, know ye not that you are the temple of God. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. See, the Spirit of God is trying to dwell in y'all right now. Okay? You are the temple of God, young man. Listen. If any man defile the temple of God. The Bible said if any man defile the temple, how do you defile your temple? By smoking, eating unclean foods, having unmarried sex, going into women, okay? You're, you're defiling your temple when you do that. They said if you defile your temple, what? Him shall God destroy. See, God going to destroy you. Okay, how he going to destroy you? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 61. Let me show you something, man. The Bible is a true book. That's why we are being destroyed because we are here smoking weed. You can't smoke weed and get an education at the same time because you're going to forget everything you learn. Until you smoke again, then you're going to be like, yeah, I'm on point, man. I just thought of something. Then when your high go down, you'll be like, man, I don't forget what in the world I was thinking about. I know. I used to smoke, man. Y'all got to stop smoking, okay? Check this out. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 61. 
Also, every sickness. He said, because if you keep smoking, especially you smoke cigarettes and black and miles and stuff. He said, also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law. He said, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of the law. Read. Them will God bring upon thee. He going to bring cancer upon you. Okay? He going to bring... uh. Uh, what's some more uh, diseases? High blood pressure. High blood pressure, diabetes, gout. That's why a lot of black folks got gout right now. They can't even walk because their temples are defiled. That's why they land in the hospital. Why? Because they have been smoking since they was 15. That's why they can't breathe because they've been smoking. Okay? It's called lung cancer. It's not written in the Bible, but God said if you do it, he going to bring every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law upon you. Give me Psalms chapter uh, 104 and verse 14. Read what you got. The book of Psalms chapter 104 verse 14. He causeth the grass to grow for so, the cattle. Hold on. He, read this slow. He causeth the grass to grow. So God did cause the grass to grow, right? Give me Genesis 1. Hold your finger right there. Give me Genesis 1 and verse 26. So you, grass is growing. So weed is a grass. Okay? It's a herb. But listen to what God said he gave us earth for. He caused the grass to grow, but read. The book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 29. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed. So he did give us every herb. Weed is an herb. He gave us every herb bearing seed. So a lot of people like to say it came from the earth. God made it. Listen. Which is upon the face of all the earth. All right, what's up, real? All and right. every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed uh -huh. to you it shall be for me so it said to you if it, it say the smoke for me for me so what you do with me huh seasoning and you cook it and you gonna do what eat it did it say smoke it so he gave us herb to eat okay now go back to uh go back uh to psalms huh okay the book of Psalms, chapter 104, verse 14. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and herb for the service of man. So he gave herb for the service of man. Did you know herb is for is medicine? So weed is a medicine, all right? It's not, if it weren't prescribed for you, you shouldn't be taking it. That's right. Because weed is a herb. God gave herb for, uh, read that again. An herb for the service of man. Oh, it's for the service of man. Give me some rock. Chapter 30. Uh, eight, is it? Yeah, 38. 38. So let's see what the service it is. Watch this right here. 38. All right. Read number one, uh, one first. One. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 38, verse 1. Honor a physician. So the Bible tells us to honor a doctor, a physician, bro. So if the doctor prescribed you weed, hey, honor that. Okay? If he didn't prescribe you that, that means you don't need it. Read. With the honor due unto him for the uses which he may have of him, for the Lord hath created him. Yeah, for the uses which he gave it for you because God created him to study that to help you. Okay? Give me verse, uh, what was we at? Six? Is it six? Verse four, read what you got. Verse four, the Lord hath created medicines out of the earth. So he created medicine out of the earth. That's what the weed is for, for a medicine, bro. All right, if you ain't got glaucoma, if you ain't got uh, whatever, uh, I know people have cancer, they need an appetite and stuff like that. If the doctor been, been prescribing for you, bro, don't eat it. I mean, don't smoke it. Read. And he that is wise will not abhor them. It said he that is wise will not hate the medicines that God created, bro. So we can't do what? We can't be smoking weed, man. All right? Y'all young right now, you need to save all the brain cells you got and learn these Bible scriptures. That's right. All right? To come out here and wake the people up. Ain't no telling what I know. I smoke weed for 20 some years straight. You see what I'm saying? My memory bad. All right? So what we got to tell you to do, bro, is get your life right with God. Give me Psalms 119 and verse 9. What that lady over there talking about? Uh, Christianity. <laughs> the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 9. 
Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? So you can stop you, you you can stop smoking right now and cleanse your way. The Bible says what? Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? See all the trouble you don't that weed smoke gonna get you into. You can cleanse your way right now. How? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. It said do what now? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. So you got to take heed according to God's words, young brothers. All right? So everything we brought out today to you, y'all been out here standing for an hour and something, man. All praise to the Most High God. But everything we brought out, you got to take heed to it. Even if you don't understand it, you got a Bible, you stay on campus. Huh? Y'all stay on campus, get y'all, y'all got a Bible in y'all room. Huh? They teach y'all the New Testament up there, don't they? They teach y'all the Bible. That's a Christian school, don't it? So they teach y'all the Bible. I'm going to let y'all know they're not teaching y'all what we're going to teach y'all out of the Bible. They're that's teaching right. y'all what he say. They're going to teach y'all that Jesus white, everything white is right. All right? Everything black, get back. They're going to teach you to dance in the band, play basketball, play football, step. You see what I'm saying? They're not going to teach you this truth about who you are according to the Bible. So that's what we're doing. We're teaching you the truth about who you are, the truth about slavery, the truth about Jesus of Christ, the true image of Jesus Christ. Okay, that's what we got to come teach. All right? Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org